Now, those are kind of like my favorite. Whoa, that's weird. Hey guys, it's Angel. Today I am super excited because I have my new Apple AirPods here. I've had them for about two weeks now, so I wanted to do a mini review and share with you the things that I really love about them. And then I'm gonna show you how I turn my AirPods into rose gold AirPods with a Swarovski crystal case. So with that, let's get started. All right, so I've had these for about two weeks now, and these are basically the AirPod case, and inside are, voila! the AirPods, you can see them here. And they're super tiny, they're like this, and they're wireless, and so you just put them in your ear like so. So before this, I was using the wired ear headphones that I got from Apple, and, and you can see how that's kind of a disaster with the cords. And then of course, since I have the new iPhone 7 Plus, you have to have this handy dandy adapter. And you know what? I don't always carry this adapter with me, so sometimes I have the headphones, but no adapter, so can't use them. And I really like them because when I go out for exercising or walking, I don't have to worry about, you know, the wires getting in my hair or like if I'm on the treadmill, you know, and you're kind of you're running or you're walking and you know how your hands kind of move and just ugh, my phone flies off the treadmill. You guys know what I mean. Anyways, I love that they're wireless and I have had other wireless Bluetooth headsets like the um, Platronics headsets. The problem is with those, they never really paired properly. And so I always felt like I was pairing them and repairing them every other time. But the Apple AirPods, they pair once and then they stick. So basically the next day I just open up my AirPods, put them in my ears and I'm good to go. No worries about having to repair. So that's really neat. The other thing that I really like about these are battery life. If it's fully charged, you get about five hours of listening time. So five hours is a super long time. So literally, if you're out of a charge, you just charge these for 15 minutes, put them back in the case, and then you'll have an additional three hours of listening time. And that's a lot. So super great talk time here. Finally, one of my favorite things that I love about these AirPods is that if you're listening to music, you have both your AirPods in, and let's say you're going along and somebody's trying to talk to you. So you take one AirPod out and the music will stop automatically. It automatically senses that your AirPod is out of your ear, so it'll stop your music. And then once you're done and you wanna to listen to your music again, you go ahead and put them back in your ear and it'll start to autoplay. So super cool feature. Another thing that you can do is if you've got your AirPods on and in your ear and you wanna to talk to Siri, you can just double tap twice like that and Siri will ask you what you want. All right, so first we're gonna start by taking out our AirPods and decorating them with a touch of rose gold. How we're gonna do that is start by prepping your working area and then take out your AirPods and first clean them. Now, I like to clean mine with alcohol prep pads, so get a bunch of these because this will be handy. A couple other things that are gonna be handy for this part of the DIY is a measuring tape. We will also need some edge lock painters tape, and then we'll also need some scissors. So after you've cleaned the stem of both your AirPods, take a look at the inside where you'll see an R and an L. That'll designate left and right for each of them. What you're going to do is cut off a small piece of the edge lock painter's tape and then wrap that around right above the R. Make sure you wrap it around and as you're wrapping that around, make sure it's smooth and makes full contact. Next, what you're going to do is with your measuring tape, measure about half an inch above where you put the tape. And that's because I want half an inch of rose gold right on the AirPod stem. So I'm gonna measure half an inch up and then I'm gonna put another small piece of tape and wrap that around above the half an inch. Now I went ahead and snipped really carefully around the AirPod so that way the tape lays flat all the way around. Once you wrap that really tight, do that again to the other AirPod. And then before we start to paint, I'm going to take another alcohol swab. I'm just gonna clean off around the stem again. And don't worry if you're getting the tape wet with the alcohol pad, that's totally okay. Next, what I have here is one of my favorite pink nail polishes, and I think this really matches with the rose gold color. It's a nail polish from Guerlain, the 260 color. So start by taking out your nail polish, painting right over the blue tape. So you wanna paint the stem evenly. We're gonna do one light coat at first, then let that dry. Typically it takes about three to five minutes for nail polish to dry. After that's done drying, we're gonna put a second coat, and I'm putting my coat a little bit heavier than the first one. Do that for both your AirPods and let that dry for 
about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, run your finger lightly over the nail polish just to make sure that it's dry. And then what you wanna do is gently peel off your blue painter's tape. Now, just to note, when you're peeling the painter's tape off, it is going to be a little bit soft. I'm talking about the nail polish here. So it might look like it's coming up a bit. If you just pull at the right angle, like a 90 degree angle, that will give you a straighter edge. Afterwards, you should have an AirPod earbud that looks like this. If any of the lines you feel like are a little bit crooked, you can also fix it either with your nail, because it's, again, the nail polish is still gonna be soft, or you can just use the back of a knife or a straight edge and just push it so that it's a little bit straight, if you need to. When you're done with both AirPods, I really recommend you leave it out to dry for about four to five hours because again, the nail polish is going to be soft. Now for the case decorations. So what you'll need are, again, some alcohol pads to clean the case. And then I've got some Swarovski crystals in a light pink rose color. It's super pretty in person and I got these off of Amazon. They're beautiful. Photos don't do it justice, so highly recommend these. And we're also going to need some super glue. So I have ultra gel control glue. And if you guys have used super glue before, sometimes you know it's really hard to control the glue that's coming out. Well, this bottle actually is really good because it has these sides where you just push these together and the gel comes out. And because it's a gel formula, it doesn't like spread everywhere. So easy to use, easy to control, and it's going to be really good for this DIY. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take your case and again, clean them with your alcohol swab. Next, take out your crystals and put them in the pattern that you like. So lay them out first, and if it helps, you can go ahead and use tweezers. I know that helps me. Then what you'll do is with a little bit, just a tad bit of the glue, put some underneath and then place your crystal right on top. Be super careful because it's super glue and because you don't wanna mess up because it's going to be permanent. Make sure that you press down firmly so it adheres really well. And when you're done, you should have a case that looks like this. Now, if you guys are wondering why I put a little crystal here at the top, it's because it really helps with ergonomics. So I like to use one hand to open up my case. Since I'm right-handed, I put it up here at the top so that way I can just use my thumb and open the case. Open the case, close, open, close. So now that we have the rose gold earbuds completed, this is what they look like on, and here is my case. But you can see how the colors are really pretty. So that was my AirPods review and how to add a touch of rose gold to them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in DIY. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you soon, hopefully with another review.